Welcome to this week's Simon. I'm Swati. And I'm Jacques from the Scientific Affairs team here at Illumina. Metagenomic studies have been used to investigate the bacterial communities of the skin through sequencing of the 16S ribosomal RNA. However, viruses do not have 16S ribosomal RNA, so their population is still unscreened. It's very true. And, you know, most viruses in the skin are known to be human papillomaviruses, or HPVs. Cutaneous HPV types have been found in healthy skin, as well as, well as different skin lesions such as squamous cell carcinoma and actinic keratosis and keratoacanthomas. Rosalava et al. used Illumina sequencing to identify 229 previously unknown HPV types wow. uh, in human skin from 82 skin lesions from squ squamous cell uh, carcinomas and uh, 16 akinic keratosis patients. This study found that the uh, human skin contains an extreme diversity of cutaneous HPV types, establishing that the HPV types are far more numerous than previously known. It's very true. You know, now some mucosal HPV high-risk types, such as HPV 16, can cause cervical cancers, whereas some cutaneous HPV types can cause skin warts and other associated and others are associated with squamous cell carcinoma in patients with rare immunosuppressive diseases. HPV-16 can directly transform mucosal epithelial cells and may cause cervical, anal, orthopharyngeal uh, cancers. More than 99% of cervical cancers contain HPV genomes and express HPV transcripts. That's quite that's a amazing. lot. I mean, 99%, that's, that's a massive number. And, you know, in, in patients... In, in, in patients, the carcinogenic progression induced by HPV is a multi-step process. You know, first you start with infection of the keratinocytes from the basal layer of the epithelium, followed by development of low-grade precancerous lesions and eventually leading to full-fledged carcinomas. The important question is how does the transcriptome change during these carcinogenic progression. Very true. And, you know, Chenital do just that. They use deep sequencing to construct a quantitative map of HPV transcripts in three HPV-16 associated lesions with increasing histological grades and one benign lesion associated with low-risk HPV-6B. This is a first look into studying the viral transcriptome within progressive oncogenic lesions. Um, th the results show that the HPV-16 transcriptome in cervical lesions is significantly different from those in, uh, observed in cell lines. And that really has got an implication for experimental results from cell lines. Very true. And, you know, using RNA-seq in patients with HPV-associated lesions can help better understand viral gene regulation and its impact on cancer progression. These are just great examples of how sequencing is used to identify and characterize previously unknown HPV types. Yes, it, it's a very interesting story and, and we, it's, we look forward to seeing how this is going to unfold. But unfortunately, we're out of time today. Thank you for tuning into our show. Please feel free to reach out to us with questions, thoughts, qu uh, suggestions, concerns, any feedback. We just love to hear from you. Thank you and have a great day. Bye. Bye.